All right, adding and subtracting complex numbers. Again, this uh, video is not a, it's not meant to be a uh, video to explain to you what a complex number is. So you might, if you don't know what a complex number is, you might go Google that, uh, you know, what is a complex number, or more specifically, what is an imaginary number. So, but if you already kind of know what an imaginary number is, adding them is pretty simple. Okay, a complex number, uh, just really quickly, is any number in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, b being non-zero, and i is the imaginary part. So you've got, an, uh, you've got a real number, so this is real, and this is the imaginary number combined together. Okay, so let's say, just say we had two, two and we're going to add them together. So let's say we had 2 plus 3i as an imaginary number. And we're going to add that to 3 minus 4i. Just kind of making something up. Now here's the deal. Most people mess this up and start multiplying just because they see parentheses. This is addition. There is an addition symbol between these. So we're going to simply add the parts that we can add together. So this is just the same as saying three, 2 plus 3i plus 3 minus 4i. And then, so in our case, 2 and 3 can combine to 5, and 3i minus 4i can combine to negative 1i, or just negative i. So the answer of those two complex numbers added together is 5 minus i. And, I mean, that's, that's it. And if you subtract them, so if we had 6 plus 7i minus 2, whoops, put the parentheses in the wrong spot, minus 2 minus uh, 8i, all right? This is just like subtracting anything. You could take 6 minus 2, the real part, and add that to the imaginary part, which is 7i minus a negative 8i. So I'm just combining the pieces we can combine. Um, that's one way to look at it. And the answer is, uh, um, so 6, 5, so 4 plus, well, minus, minus is plus a positive, and so 7 plus 8i, so the, the answer is just simply 4 plus 15i. Again, you're not distributing uh, them, but you could look at it as distribution. So what I did is I pulled the real part out and the imaginary part out and added them together. What you could also do is distribute the negative through. So we'd have 6 plus 7i, and then distribute the negative 1 through. So you'd have minus 2 plus 8i, and then combine like terms. So 6 minus 2 is 4, 7i plus 8i is plus 15i. So it's the same It's the same as we got before, doing it the other way. So go ahead and uh, try these two. I'm going to, so let's say you had 3 plus, I'm doing a lot of 3's. Let's say we had 1 minus 6i plus 3 minus 2i, still a lot of 3's. And uh, Let's say you had 5 minus 8i uh, minus, minus uh, 2 minus, I don't know, 5i. So we had these two complex numbers where we add and subtract them. So go ahead and hit stop and then try them and see if you get the right answer. So on the first one, I would add the 3 and the 1 together to give me 4. And then negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8i. And so there's your complex number if you add the first two together. If you subtract the second two, 5 minus 2 is 3. And negative 8 minus a negative 5i, again, plus a positive would be, uh, oops, I forgot the i there. So we'd have uh, 3 minus 
3i in that case. And there's your imaginary or complex number. And so that's adding and subtracting um, complex numbers. Uh, hopefully not too difficult. Uh, rules apply if it's a fraction. Um, you know, if you add and subtract any number. Or radicals in there. Irrationals with the imaginaries. So anyway, best of luck. See you next time.